it's your welcome to our youtube channel you're welcome to victor fashion i'll be victor are you today how are you all doing hope you're fine so in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to make this short gown very easy to make so the first thing that we're going to do i first of all fold my fabric normal the way we fold fabric but the length was not enough for what i want so i had to fold it the way you're seeing it that the edge to the other edge i hope you understand what i'm trying to say just look carefully how i fold the fabric but if you fold your whole normal and the length was okay for you yes it's okay this dress is actually for my mom yes for my mom so she don't want short gown that you know 45 she don't want 45 she said she do shall pass at me so the first thing i did is trim out the the ss i wanted to have a straight length so after that i'm going to measure for my shoulder to the where i want the sleeve to get to yes for me i think i use 10 11 inches yes 11 inches and i measure from my waist to my width uh, for my shoulder to my waistline for this we're going to be using six 18 inches sorry 18 inches how this joke is even showing but just listen to what i'm saying then you are that after the waist i measure from waist to the hip and this is actually eight inches you can eat some is eight some is nine and so then i now measure for the shoulder to the length i'm going to be using yeah to the length that i'm going to be using so that is what i'm actually doing right now let me use this opportunity to welcome my new subscriber you're welcome to the family return the subscriber you know i love you guys so much thank you for always watching and liking my video i really appreciate you guys so the next thing is draw your straight to and give it let's show it up to just the way i'm doing it right now after that you you measure your back measurement for me it is eight inches so for the neckline i'm going to be using three three and a half by four for the front this is the front measurement actually so we're going to be using three and a half by four or three and a half by three and a half anyone you want to use you use it or you even use three by three depends on how you want your neck to be yeah so after that we are going to be going down by one inches for this list so i measure the length i want to use because we are going to be still be joining sleeve to the down part so for me i used one uh, 20 inches of length then i go down by one inches for the slope just the way you're seeing it i measured one inches for the slope so after that then i measure the hip measurement divide your hip by four yes you divide your hip by four and add two inches allowance to it yeah you add two inches allowance to it divide your hip by four add two inches allowance and divide your waist by four add two inches allowance to it yes that's what you should do thank you guys if you're watching this you have not subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for what are you waiting for then the next thing is divide your hip by four and add two inches or two and a half or three inches depends on how you want your hip to come out more so then you draw a straight ruler to give out your shape out so from the hip you just draw a straight line down to the length you want it to get to yep so for the sleeve i measure 20 inches because i want it to be 20 inches actually because i'm still going to be joining like two inches in the down part of the three so i was measuring 20 inches to the sleeve where i want the sleeve then i draw it's a curve from the so from that bust to the sleeve i just draw a cuff line to meet up the sleeve just the way you're seeing it i'm going to drag it now for you guys so i just draw a straight line you can go out by one inches or half inches just to draw this that is all for this front measurement so right guys if you're watching this you have not subscribed to my youtube channel i don't know what i have waiting for what did i do to you that you have not subscribed wait till i do make sure you subscribe and turn off notification button to see more of my video when 
I upload it. And if you have any question for me or you want me to do a tutorial for you, chat me on Victi Fashion Up or Victi YouTube. I'm going to answer you. So right now I'm going to be cutting out the back part because this back is this back is actually going to have a zip. Yes, this back is going to have a zip. So I place the front part to the back part just the way I just the way you're seeing it right now. So I place I might mention two inches for the zipper part. You can use one and a half, you can use two inches, just use or you can even use one inch but i prefer use one and a half or two inches for your zip because when you're using lining to turn it so yeah that's exactly what i'm doing everything will be the same thing except from the zipper parts and the leg neckline that is the only difference between the front and the back so after placing it i didn't know i was not showing this so right now i'm cutting out the back parts out yes i'm cutting it out if you have any question on this tutorial you can comment down below please make sure you're liking video when you're watching it comments let's know what you think about it so right now i was chucking out this this up the zipper part so i will know where the zip and so i notch i'm going to be notching out the two inches in the hop and notch out the two inches in the upper part then i will now show you guys the neckline the neckline for the back i use three and a half by one inches you can use three and a half by one and a half inches or even use three by one anyone you want but i use three by one and a half yes i use three and a half by one and a half sorry guys then i cut it out just the way you're seeing it then i cut out the neckline for the back to for the front i've said it both before three by i use three and a half by three and a half so when i saw it to be like three by three uh, four by four yes when we saw it it will be four by four because it's a grown up person so right now before i cut out the neckline i went down by four inches if you want yours because she's an elderly person i use four inches you can use yo i use five inches you can use six inches you can use seven inches just place the this thing then cut the upper part out just the way you are seeing what i mean you can use six inches then use real ruler to draw a straight line down then this is the net i'm going to be using for the upper part please you can use any net of your choice you can use open net you can use skin net anyone you want to use but for me i'm going to be using this so i placed out the five inches i cut out from the front part i place it on top of the net then i make sure that one inches is there for the sewing i didn't do it exactly what i cut from the from the fabric i made sure that one inches is there extra to sew it so right now i'm going to be measuring the neckline then cutting out the neckline out just the way you're seeing it so i'm cutting it out just the way you're seeing it right now i hope you understand then i notch the midpoints part then this is how it's going to look so right now i was checking out where the left side is because this fabric is like well it's just it's the same thing so i make sure that it's actually so i'm going to be cutting out the lining now as you can see cutting out the lining for the front and the back so make sure that you pull lining then your lining should be a bit one inches long shorter than the fabric yes one inches shorter than the fabric so right now let's go to the sewing part we are going, this is the front you place um just cut uh, like fold it into two fold the front into two and notch the midpoint of the front then you place it back you now see the midpoint you join in the net part that is how you are going to place it so you place the net on top just the way you are seeing it you place it on top yeah you place it on top and sew it you sew it in the down then you sew it in the other side then you now it will now look like this you use your lining to first of all sew the down part of this fabric i hope you know how to join it because i lost the video of this when i was explaining but let me try to explain you use your fabric to sew first of all sew the down part then you now sew the upper part you now sew the side then you turn it into you now use your 
how much to turn your your um this thing to turn it so it's in the side you do the same thing to the back so after this i was done as you can see i've used the lining to turn everything inside then i use my bias to turn the length life of the net so as you can see it's folding then you give it a good press it's very important you know when you're a fashion designer or a tailor you need ironing very very important so i'm so sorry guys the lining i have was not enough so i had to use this pink lining for the back for her so please make sure when you are sewing for clients use the normal lining so right now i'm going to be sewing the zip part then you you measure where you want your zip to reach then you sew it and put your zip in the back so after putting your zip in the back then you turn the neck line you turn the shoulder you use your back to turn the shoulder so it and sew it in the side so i was saying that we should join this the the body but we are not going to join the body yet because we need to do the neck we need to do the sleeve before joining the body so right now i've i've joined the neckline or i've joined i've put the zip i've joined the neckline so we're going to be doing the 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 sleeve right now i trim out the sleeve the excess in the sleeve just to give us a straight this thing just to give us a straight dress yeah as you can see what i'm doing then i i measured i think i measured four and a half inches here yes four and a half inches length four and a half inches length then the length four and a half inches width then the length of the sleeve the length you measure the length of the sleeve then you are going to be using this to turn it in yes you first first sew one side you first first sew one side of this like this then you use the other side to turn it in i hope you understand what i'm trying to say use it to turn it in yes you use it to turn it in right now so you do the other side then after that you now join the side with one inches or any inches you want to use to join it so right now i'm done joining it yes it made the pocket look at the net side is already giving what is inside the picture so then you now give it a press yes you know ironing is very important when it comes to sewing you need to iron the left side the right side anything just make sure you iron it well so after ironing i'm going to be cutting the pocket right now so the pocket that we're going to be using i i i think i use eight nine inches for the length then for the width i use eight inches no i use 10 inches for the length then for the width i use eight inches yes i uh, that's what i use you can use nine inches by eight inches guys eight inches by eight inches depends on how you want your pocket to be long or short anyhow you want it that is what i use then you draw you just chuck it at four corner just the way you are seeing me doing it's a four corner pocket yes and it's going to be out so after that after cutting out everything you measure where you went your where you went want your nets to be for me i want it to be as three inches in the upper part that is what i'm actually chucking out now i want to be to make, want it to be three inches then i'm going to be cutting out the net when i'm cutting out the net the net will be around three point three point five yes three point five then i've cut it out i'm using this to cut out the second part of it because the pocket is two yes i need two of it so i use three point five then you now use the i'm looking at the left and the right side you use you so it's just the way i'm doing you you show right side facing each other then you now use it to turn it like this then you turn it and sew it so you're going to use the net to turn out this so right now i've already turned it so as you can see then you fold it into two and not the midpoint it's very important there's reason why you need that later so after that you take your fabric from the down part the side like the side of the down part where you join it you go up by 
you can go up by 7 inches, 8 inches, 9 inches, 10 inches, anyhow you want, where you want your pockets to start from. Then you go up and notch, like use chalk to chalk it down. Yes, you use chalk to chalk that place down. I think I use it in 9 inches or 10 inches. Then you chalk that place. You do the same thing to the other side. You fold the other side and also do go up by 10 inches or 9, 7 inches. That is it. Then you now see where you chalk down. You see where you notch. You put it inside and you start the sewing from the midpoint of where you chalk. And you sew it like this you sew it you sew the other side that is all for this tutorial and i'm very very sorry i couldn't put this on mannequin i'm done and thank you so much for watching whenever you sew it tag me on victim fashion hub i'm going to comment then show me thank you so much if you have any questions don't let me know see you in my next video bye thank you guys love you make sure you subscribe and subscribe